I think I've changed by, again, when I go out in public now and I go to Dollar Tree and I see the cashier, like in my head, it's, you should ask her, how can I pray for you? Or what's her story? How can I love people? How can I listen? How can I? So I think it's really changed my thinking process and how I see the world, how I see people and all different places I go. I've always heard people talk about stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. It's gonna be a nice worship night or something like that. But it completely blew my expectations of, wow, like, this is amazing. There's so many people from all over coming here to help ignite the fire back in us to go back out into our community. So it was honestly nothing that I was expecting. It was way more, way bigger. My biggest surprise is the amount of people that actually don't know the gospel. Like when we are walking through it with people, have you ever heard of this? No, I've never heard of this. And so that even blew my mind because I'm like, I just assume, oh, most people have heard about Jesus. Most people, you know, the basics. But this showed me that so many people don't even know and they're right in front of us. And so how can I love people? How can I be that, stand in the gap for them to introduce them to Jesus, pray for them. And so I feel more equipped, even if I don't have the bracelet, even if I don't have the Bible, now I know, okay, we're all sinners. We all deserve death. And just walking them through that. Okay, this side note, but the crazy thing is when I went to the North High School, there's this kid who decided to stay for our, one of our campus life things. And I brought up the Bible and showed it to him. And he's like, no way, someone gave that to me. And I said, did someone walk you through it? No. And he said that his mom made him throw it away because she was an atheist. And so I was able to walk him through it. And then this kid like accepted Jesus. And so it was just so crazy because it's been being planted throughout our city. Like even if it's the bracelet, be people being prayed for, the Bibles, it's starting to spread throughout our community. Someone also said this, they said that we have to be ready for God's interruptions because really they're everywhere. And sometimes like we're, oh, I gotta go, I gotta go, gotta go. So it's more of just pausing. Like I still love talking to people, but more pausing and just seeing how you can start a conversation. There's people that I would have never noticed before. And now my eyes are being open. And for instance, when me and Haley went to Qdoba, like that same girl, she came to Thanksgiving with us. Like it's just, I don't know, people that I wouldn't have noticed before. God is showing me and opening my eyes. And so it's really beautiful. I love it.